Hello Scorpio. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 26th of September until the 2nd of October 2016. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Justice. You are feeling that things will go your way. You believe in fairness and justice in all things. If you are considering partnership issues, personal or professional, dealings will go well. Perhaps you are about to sign a contract or legal document, this will be beneficial to you. If someone has done wrong to you it will be put right and you will feel justice has been done. This card also indicates that the fairest decision will be made. You are being called to account for your actions and be judged accordingly. Notice that justice's scales are balanced, thus its appearance indicates that events have worked out as they were meant to work out and that what is happening to you comes from the decisions you have made and the actions you have taken in the past. You have what you deserve. Justice represents a conscious awareness that your decisions and actions have long-term consequences and your present and future circumstances are most likely a result of these decisions and actions. At the same time, justice shows that your actions in the future can be changed by a lesson learned in the present situation. You cannot become honest without extending that honesty to yourself and others. Justice reflects the search for truth. You need to know and speak the truth and perceive it in the words and deeds of others. Be fair and just with all and you will soon be able to detect dishonesty in yourself and others. Learn the rules that govern what you are involved with. This is a time to remain objective and to base your judgment on fact and not on heresy. There is a need to be fair and just when you see the justice card in a reading. When everyone is playing fair and adhering to the rules, a positive outcome will be achieved. However, you need everyone to be on the same page for this to occur. It is no good if there is someone who is going against the grain or trying to stir things up. The Justice card also indicates a time when decision making is required. Something in your life needs attention, mediation or a solution. Look to the two cards lying on either side of the Justice card to understand what it is that you are weighing up in your decision making. As you contemplate your decision, are you the person to pass judgment, or is your role to accept the decision that is made? How can you remain as objective as possible, whilst searching for the truth of the matter? It is an important time for your inner umpire, that is your conscience, to make the right decision. Balanced judgment exists. Justice often refers to legal matters of all kinds. The courts are where judgments are made and decisions rendered. The legal system is the official arena in which the principles of justice are explored. If you see the justice card in a reading where there are legal matters at hand, expect the outcome to be just and fair. You are also likely to be dealing with legal contracts, such as a marriage license, divorce decree, business contract, financial arrangement or litigation. Where you are the person demanding justice, know that justice will be served and lawsuits won. Of course, 
If you have acted in a deceptive way or have not spoken the truth, be aware that justice will still prevail and you will need to take responsibility for your actions. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is the moon. At this time you desire clarity and less of those confused emotions that leave you fearful and vulnerable. You want to know the outcome because you are so unsure about how you feel. Use your intuition to guide you away from deception and ride this out, it will turn out alright in the end. The moon is also a good omen if you are in a clandestine affair. This is a psychological card of projecting fear into your present and your future, based on past experiences. The images, thoughts and feelings that you have repressed over time cause inner disturbances that are becoming overwhelming. As a result, you are now experiencing negative blocks within your personality, causing fear and anxiety. To remedy this, you need to go through a purging process whereby deep memories are released. This is a time when you need to go deep into your soul and dredge up your anxieties, fears, psychic blocks and personality disturbances. Many invisible things are coming to the surface including secret motives, clandestine information and ancient hidden truths. These newly discovered resources may confuse you but once they are brought to your awareness, they will no longer haunt you. The moon is a card of illusion and deception, and therefore often suggests a time when something is not as it appears to be. Vigilance and clear perception will be necessary to find that which is hidden before it is too late. If other cards in the reading are negative, then the moon shows that not all is as wonderful as you would think and there are still hidden forces at play that may unravel your success. You may be idealizing the situation, and ignoring the fact that potential for failure exists among success. If the other cards are generally positive, then the moon suggests that you are letting your imagination run away with you, and that things are not nearly as bad as they seem. In both cases you must open your eyes and see what is really going on. Guard against accepting illusions as they may cause an error in your judgment. Oftentimes, the moon appears in a reading when you are not sure of your destination, or even of the path you are traveling but you travel nonetheless. You may have lost your way and are now left to walk in the dark, guided only by your inner light and intuition. You need to go on without a clear picture of where you are, where you are going or where you have been. The moon is a card of intuition and psychic forces, so let go of your conscious mental blocks or negative self-talk, and allow your intuition to guide you. Your dreams, intuitions, and inner promptings lead you forward toward higher levels of understanding if you listen carefully and use your judgment to help interpret the veiled messages of the unconscious. Not only will the way forward be revealed but in many cases you will learn lessons about yourself that will be valuable in later journeys. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Empress. You are feeling insecure, perhaps have money worries, concerns over your children or maybe an unplanned pregnancy. There are people around you who love and care for you and they will give you support. Try not to be overprotective and do not resort to emotional blackmail, it won't do you any favors. This card also suggests a loss of personal power through placing too much emphasis on another person's emotional or material needs, thus neglecting your own. You may also be finding it difficult to work cooperatively with others. The reason for this lack of harmony is likely to be within you and therefore introspection is required. In a relationship reading, the Empress suggests that you are feeling very challenged because you do not have an avenue to express your true thoughts and feelings and you are obliged to bottle a lot of it up inside. Have you got a close friend in whom you can confide? 
you need to share your feelings with someone so that you can understand them and get in touch with your inner self. This card can also suggest a dependence on other people's feelings, indicating that you may be playing a waiting game now to see how your partner reacts and what emotion he or she displays. It is best not to do this but instead work through your own emotions independently of him or her. If you are struggling in a relationship, the first step for you is to take some time to yourself in order to restore your energy levels and your belief in yourself. Unfortunately, your past relationships have impacted how you see yourself and your ability to truly love and trust another person. As a result, you may be doubting your inner beauty and losing your inspiration for creating beautiful, loving relationships. You may also be overprotective of someone you love and this is straining your relationship. Be mindful that you are not becoming a smothering, demanding mother. Are you mothering your partner, friends, or family too much? Be careful not to overdraw on the characteristics of the upright empress. You may need to follow the example of the high priestess who listens to her inner psyche for the answers. More generally, the Empress indicates that you are feeling discontented because something is missing or lacking in your life, or because you want to find something creative, meaningful or fulfilling to do but you do not know what. This card can indicate a creative block. You may find your mood is depressed or negative. Work can feel laborious and mundane. This is not a time to think, act or do. You are already overloaded and mental pursuits will not give you what you need. Further attempts to follow your intellect or reasoning mind will only cause frustration or lead you astray. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the tower. Sometimes sudden disruptive change is inevitable, and as painful as it may seem, you come through it a stronger and better person. No matter how disruptive things are at the moment, or if you feel life is really against you, re-evaluate and move on. Often a new direction can bring new opportunities you never dreamed of. If you have been planning to move home you will be experiencing setbacks. On the other hand, you may feel afraid, shaken and insecure. It is a time of great turmoil and destruction as you seek to understand how you could have been so wrong, so naive, or so blind about a particularly situation. And now, what will you do and how will you manage in the face of this shocking truth? You may be experiencing sleepless nights, depression, grief, anger and confrontation. These are normal reactions to major changes in your outer and inner worlds. A tower experience is any experience that shakes the foundation of your current sense of security and or forces you to question your strongly held beliefs, perceptions, attitudes and behaviors. It may be a divorce, death of a loved one, financial failure, health problems or job loss, or any event that penetrates to the core of your inner being, affecting you spiritually, mentally and physically. It is often descriptive of a major upheaval, disruption, emergency or crisis, and is likely to bring chaos in the aftermath of such an event. Ask yourself, what structures in my life are breaking up? No doubt you will already be very aware of where there is turmoil and destruction but sometimes it can be on a more subtle or subconscious level. The most important aspect of the tower is that with any destruction there comes creation. Thus, the tower card represents an awakening and is about inspiration, freedom, reality and the release from bondage. It is a truth and honesty card that comes as a bolt of lightning to you through a shocking and impactful life event. It represents a necessary experience that forces you to get out of your comfort zone and to grow beyond your present level. The sudden destruction of the tower represents the immediacy of change, and the often disorienting effects of that change. Once you hit rock bottom the choice is yours. You can revert to the self-defeating, 
restrictive devil, or reach for the transformational and inspirational star. When you begin to reach for the star, you will come to realize that your true security and strength lies within yourself and your relationship with the universe, and not in some false belief system or artificially created world. Following a tower experience, you can rest assured that you will grow stronger, wiser and more serene as you begin to develop a completely new perspective on life that you did not even know existed. These moments in time are necessary for spiritual growth and enlightenment. Truth and honesty will bring about a positive change, even if you must experience pain and anxiety throughout the process. The tower also represents the inner and outer structures that you have built. These structures represent your personal defenses, defenses that create a more socially acceptable you by hiding your true, inner thoughts and feelings. It is like laughing politely when your boss tells a joke, or, on a deeper level, disguising your sexual feelings, particularly if you feel that they are socially inappropriate. In times of great pressure and stress, these structures will be tested and are at risk of shattering, finally revealing your true inner self to those around you. So, you need to be very careful how much of yourself you attempt to hide, knowing that one day, all will be revealed. The tower therefore asks you to break down the structures that you have surrounded yourself with, this can be a painful and difficult process if you resist against the external forces that are pushing you to reveal more of yourself. Breaking through this pretense can cause a great deal of anguish but remember that the tower will fall, whether you like it or not, because you have reached your limits in this area and can no longer live with it. Similarly, the tower can signify your ego and the illusion of considering yourself to be superior to others. When the tower of ego, deception and illusion is destroyed, you are free to face truth and reality without the trappings of false attachments. Are you undergoing a major shift in consciousness? Are you beginning to see things in a new way? Embrace the opportunity to accept change and move forward into a more positive psychological state, where personal freedom is the rule. The fifth card for you is representing what is going against you? Your card is The Fool Beware of impetuous and impulsive decisions, they could cost you dearly. Draw on your knowledge and experience. Perhaps there are naive and immature beliefs behind your current desires. This card also suggests that you may be acting in total disregard of the consequences of your actions and indeed acting as a fool. You are trying to live in the moment rather than planning ahead. You are acting recklessly, wanting to break free of the usual routine in order to find yourself but doing it in a way that completely disregards others. The fool cautions you about potentially being taken advantage of or entering into a deal where you do not fully understand the consequences of your decisions. If you are offered an opportunity that seems too good to be true then it probably is. It is really important that you do almost a due diligence on the opportunities presented to you to ensure that you are making the right choice and not simply going with the most enticing offer at the time. Be prepared for the challenges that lie ahead so that you are not taken by surprise. Do your research and make sure you are well prepared for critical events such as job interviews, applications, presentations and meetings. The Fool also suggests that you do not want to be placed in a work situation where you are completely out of your depth and have no clue what you are doing. You want to feel at least competent that you know what you need to do and you most certainly do not want to look like the Fool or the newbie on the block. Even if you have not been in the workforce for a little while, you want to be respected for your experience to date and do not want to have to start at square one again. The fool can also indicate that the nature of the relationship is highly changeable and uncertain, with spontaneity taken to a whole new level. 
you may be unsure about where the relationship is heading and whether you can safely depend on your partner. You may both be risk takers with little consideration for the long term consequences of your actions. This may bring with it excitement and suspense but also an underlying feeling of uncertainty and insecurity. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the death. This is a transformational time for you. However turbulent or perhaps distressing some of the events in your life may be, endings always leave room for brand new beginnings. This is a fresh start in life for you, embrace it and live every day as though it were your last, life is for living. The death is also the symbol of an ending of a major phase or aspect of your life that may bring about the beginning of something far more valuable and important. You must close one door in order to open another. You need to put the past behind you and part ways, ready to embrace new opportunities and possibilities. It may be difficult to let go of the past at times but you will soon see how important it is so that you can bring renewal and transformation into your life. If you resist these necessary endings, you may experience pain, both emotionally and physically but if you exercise your creative imagination and visualize a new possibility, you allow more constructive patterns to emerge. Similarly, Death indicates a time of significant transformation, change and transition. You need to profoundly transform yourself and clear away any of the old in order to bring in the new. Any change at this time should be welcomed as a positive, cleansing, transformative force in your life. The death and clearing away of limiting factors can open the door to a wider, more satisfying experience of life. The death card contains elements of a sudden and unexpected change. You may feel as though you are caught in the path of sweeping change and cannot escape its effects. Though the immediate thought is toward the negative, an end need not mean failure. The loss could be a series of unexpected surprises that bring an end to a period of turmoil or problems. You feel you can no longer go along with the status quo and want things to change radically. Many changes are going to take place to enable a new direction to emerge. Finally, death is an indication that you need to learn to let go of unhealthy attachments in your life to pave the way to a fuller, more fulfilled life of deeper meaning and significance. Death teaches you to let go of outworn and outgrown ways of life and move forward. This is a perfect card to use to break a bad habit or pattern of behavior. This is a time of eliminating excess and cutting out what is not necessary in your life. This may be a good time to purge old belongings, memories and baggage that is getting in your way. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The Chariot. Congratulations. This card means you've successfully balanced a recently challenging situation. Your ability to see both sides, take action, and make decisions has garnered you approval, respect, and gratitude. So, bask in the joy of what you've accomplished. Stay calm and grounded, and be clear about what you're trying to achieve. It's important to show self-control determination, and their willingness to go the distance at this time. Exercise control firmly, but kindly, with other people. Additional meanings of this card, self-discipline, sheer willpower, a great leap forward, a promotion or reward, travel, modes of transportation. Archangel Metatron can increase your motivation and energy level so that you'll accomplish your priorities. Metatron uses a sacred geometric shape called a Merkaba or Metatron's cube to warp time, which enables you to instantly manifest your dreams into reality. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.